Today, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can play Game Boy Advance game on your iPhone or iPad. No computer, no jailbreak. With this method, you will not get revoke. Go to the link down in the description. It will direct you to this website. On top of right hand corner, tap on the share button and tap add to home screen. Then tap add. I'm going to bring this apps to the first page for a better view. Now launch the Eclipse apps. The first time you launch the app, pop-up window will show on the screen. It will show you that the Eclipse is a web-based multi-emulator. On the pop-up window, tap on Setup Eclipse. In here, you can select the aspect ratio. You can change the display mode. Whether you want to keep the aspect ratio or do you want to enjoy it on full screen. When you are done, tap Continue. On the next page, you will see list of skins offered for the app. Once you have set your skin, scroll down and tap continue. Here you will see all the legal use of the apps. Scroll down. Tap agree and continue. Finally, you will have set up direction page. You can go through the steps one by one. But in this video, I will cover most of them for you. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe and like this video. Now, exit the app. Before you start playing, you will need Google Drive app and Google Drive account. Now, head to Safari. On the Safari, we will get the Game Boy Advance Games ROM and download it to our device. You may get any game you want to play from any website you preferred. For this video purpose, I will pick this, Legend of Zelda, the Minish Cap version. Tap on the game, go and download it. The game is now downloading to this iPad. We will utilize the built-in downloader of this iPad OS. Once finished downloading, tap on the search icon. It will direct you to the file app straight away, where the file is located. The file is in zip file, so, we need to unzip the file. Tap and hold the file, and tap on uncompress. It will start unzipping the file. Then, look for the .gba file. Tap and hold the .gba file, then share it to your Google Drive. Tap upload on top right hand corner. The file will start uploading to our Google Drive account. This process might take some time, depending on your internet speed. Now we are done uploading the GBA file to Google Drive. Exit the file app. Open the Eclipse app. Tap on the plus button. Tap on Google Drive. Next thing to do is, you need to sign into your Google Drive account. Once you are signed in, again, tap on the plus icon and tap on Google Drive. On the pop-up window, it will show you the list of games from your Google Drive. Tap Add. As you can see, there is no icon for the game. So now, we will download the game icon from Safari and use it as the icon of our game. Go ahead and save the game icon to your photo library. Once you have the icon for the game in your library, go to Eclipse. Tap and hold on the game that you want to edit the icon. Tap on Edit. Look for Upload Box Art from the list and tap on it. Look for the game icon saved onto your photo library and tap on it. Next, 
you will need to force close the app for the edit to take place. The next time you launch the app, the game icon will appear. Now, we're going to play the game. The app might ask you to sign into your Google Drive account once more. So you will need to tap on the plus icon, tap Google Drive, and then sign into your account. Once signed in, you can start playing. There is one downside, and that is the only one, which is, this web-based emulator does not support audio. The game has started and it's working fine. From the menu on the bottom left, you can fast forward the game. You can play the game either on portrait or landscape mode. You must be wondering on how you can play the game without internet. Here, I'm going to show you how you can play games from this emulator, even if your device is not connected to the internet. Tap on the plus icon. This time, tap on upload. Then, tap on browse. It will direct you to your file app. From there, you will need to find your .gba file. Once you tap on the file, the game will load up straight away. The best part of this method is, this emulator support MFI controller. Here I have PS4 controller, connected to my iPad. All you need to do now is, set up your controller button. Head to the app setting, and look for controls. From the list, you will see, controller that is connected, and available to use. Tap on MFI controller from the list. Then, you will assign each button and its function. When you are done, tap, back. Now, we will try to play the game using the controller. This method works on any iPhone, or iPad. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you appreciate this video, please subscribe to this channel, so you will be notified on future video. And please, leave a like to this video, as it will help others, to find this video. Thank you guys. Peace.